Rabies is a viral disease that affects the central nervous system and is typically transmitted through a bite. So how do you know if an animal is rabid? We know that typically wildlife wants to avoid humans. So it's definitely when they start acting strange or they are definitely confrontational or coming towards you, that is definitely some of the key signs that an animal might be sick or rabid. Both rabies cases were found just about an hour apart from each other. Officials say one confirmed case was in a feral cat in Comal County. The second was found in a raccoon in the Bernie City Lake area. It was picked up by Animal Care Services June 7th after park visitors say it behaved unusually. If you come across a rabid animal like that, what should you do? The most important thing to do is, of course, separate yourself from that animal, go inside your vehicle, inside your house, you know, get a barrier between you and then call the proper authorities. And if you're bitten or scratched by a rabid animal. The issue is more trying to prevent it because once we have symptoms, the likelihood of survival is extremely low. It's definitely important that your pets at home are vaccinated against rabies to provide them the greatest chance of survival if they're bitten or exposed to rabies. If you want to keep up with rabies cases in South Texas, the CDC has a national rabies surveillance system to do so. We have the link with this story on Kens5.com. Jeremy Baker, Kens5. Download Kens5 Plus on your TV and watch Kens5 News and other great local programs for free.